This is a HeadGum Podcast. Greetings, Nadpoles. It is I, the Breakfast Wizard, here to talk to you about Magic Spoon, the sacred artifact I use to cast my serial mancy spells. After years of... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it turns out this is an ad for Magic Spoon the Serial, not by Spellcasting Focus. As such, I'm going to let Caldwell take over. Ta-ta! Hey gang, Caldwell here. Sorry about that. Real quick, here is what you need to know. Birthday Cake Flavor is back. That's right, this limited edition cereal was so popular that Magic Spoon brought it back, and now you can get it for yourself. For a limited time, Magic Spoon is offering a free box of birthday cake cereal with every purchase, including subscriptions. This cereal is normally $10, so this gift with purchase is a great deal. To take advantage of this offer, head to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to grab a custom bundle of cereal and get a free box of birthday cake and try the magic for yourself. Remember, this exclusive offer is only available to NADPOD listeners. So go to magicspoon.com slash pawpawbday to add a free box of birthday cake to any order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Okay, the Breakfast Wizard is still loose in my house somewhere, so I have to go. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. Welcome to the campaign after the campaign. This is not another D&D podcast. Welcome back to Bohemia, everyone. I'm your dungeon Bohemia. master, Brian Murphy, joined by Jake Hurwitz. Hard one, Surefoot. Emily Axford. Moonshine Sabin, reporting for business and from Cald- the Crick, a.k.a. Cald- Crickness. Okay. And Caldwell Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Togold. I've fit. never heard of anybody reporting, for, reporting for business. Reporting for business. <laughs> I think it's duty. It's duty. <laughs> reporting for business. But I didn't business. come here to do duty. I came here to do business. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you have a very, very filthy uh, pantsuit on. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you're making the distinction. <laughs> what is formal at the Crick? What is formal? Yeah, like what would formal wear at the Crick be? Um, linen, uh, linen coveralls. Unwashed, <laughs> <laughs> unkempt. Yeah. Let's do a little say, recap, um, guys. Just a bralit bandeau, yeah, and, uh, and some leaves stitched into a mini <laughs> mini pencil skirt. That's good. That's a good look. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do a recap. So last week, you guys, you guys had some big wins. We got them green teens back. Yeah, green teens recovered. Erlen, yeah. Derlin, Cran. Our buddies, <laughs> welcome to the campaign. They're permanent, right? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna follow you guys around. They're in the party. This is I'm a part- play party of Durlin, six. Actually, they're in bags because they have seven HP and they don't have good instincts. Well, so yeah, they, they won't... are little liabilities. You, they're yeah. in bags yeah. touching be- each other. They're in bags because they were being annoying, and you guys put them in bags so they wouldn't talk anymore. You have to think about <laughs> we're no better than the Bollywoods. <laughs> you have to think about them as our backup lives. If one of us dies in the campaign, you just become one of the green teams. Yeah, you have to be. Durlin. Everyone has to be Durlin. <laughs> Good lord. If that's not incentive to stay safe, I don't know what is. Jesus. Okay. Uh, so have Moonsh- never been higher. <laughs> so we started with Moonshine and Beverly swimming up into the sunken part of the keep while Hard One snuck around the back. Uh, you guys all climbed up to the second floor and found the kobolds preparing for a ceremony in their dark chapel. Or Be business. A- or for business. They were in town for business. They did have some Tim Hortons. It was yeah. lightly catered. But you swooped in and Tim attacked. Tim Hortons, the um, official brew of business. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get something done? Have our watery coffee and our stale donuts. <laughs> Rent out a sad conference room at a Holiday Inn. If our hard donuts don't get you working. <laughs> Sacrifice a bunch of children to your weird god. <laughs> Just a cobalt in an 80s businesswoman suit with big shoulder pads and a huge dick. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot oh, yeah, our, about, about our that. friend yeah. uh, with the with the big hog and the ripped body. Yeah, that was the cobalt sorcerer. All right, so Moonshine and Beverly uh, were knocked out, and Hard One had his chance to shine as he finally used a second wind. And shine he did. Shine he did. He regained oh, yeah. some hit points and was able to rush over and revive Moonshine, who then revived Beverly. From there, you guys took charge and killed the cobalt leader, the sorcerer, who, as we all know, was in real good shape and had a nice hog <laughs> physical form. Uh, you then snuck up. To the northeast guard tower, and you found the green teens, Erlen, yeah. Durlin, and Cran. Unfortunately, yeah, 
uh, moonshine moonshine <laughs> barfed out of the tower because they were so sweet. They were so yeah. sweet and annoying. They are a bit of, they're a bit sweet for my crick taste. Uh-huh. There are a few they sweet don't make little dennies. And, they don't make youngins so sweet at the crick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got you, some salty youngins. You guys then <laughs> crazed <laughs> naked. <laughs> And they're they, the mayor. They eat everything they shouldn't. Oh my goodness. And won't eat anything they should. So you guys put the teens back in the burlap sacks that they were kidnapped in. From once they came. That's what the and scoutmaster you said to belayed do. down the castle wall. Kalu uh, Kalei! And <laughs> ran off Kalei. into the forest, but not before finding out from Cran that she heard the kobolds talking about a dragon egg. Yes. Whoa. You guys also got to level three, so we rolled new hit points and stuff, but you guys are still low health right now at your current hit points yeah. because nobody's taking a long rest or anything. Right? We have to like instantly fall asleep. So you yeah. guys right now are in the back of the castle. You guys have escaped and gone off into the forest. So you guys are there right now with Erlin, Derlin, and Cran. It is actually, it's only like 12 p.m. So you guys just had this big jailbreak adventure, but it's still the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. You guys had spied on the Bullywugs, trading the kids to the kobolds early in the morning. Then you cased the castle, snuck in and killed a bunch of the kobolds and saved the kids, but that only took like a few hours. Did so we it's only that Beverly was inside a crocodile <laughs> or an alligator. <laughs> you were in inside an alligator, but that yeah. all happened yeah. in super fast. Yeah. Super fast. So it's only noon. <laughs> it's time for a siesta. I feel it like is yeah. Never too early to trance. <laughs> Yeah. You just hear the kids in the bags go, Hey, man, can we get out of the bag thing? Shut up. Give us the hell of them. Listen Scout. to your Scoutmaster. Really? Stop moving. Hey, who wants their shut the fuck up patch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good one, Moonshine. Ha ha ha. You see, uh, Dur- Durlin starts, we- <laughs> starts moving around a lot on your back, and he goes, Hey, the bullywugs actually let us out and let us sleep in a tent when we were there. So right now well, you guys are a little bit worse than the bullywug. Well, the bully, honestly, let, let the bullywug be your scoutmaster then. And not to mention, I think we all discovered the humanity of the bullywog, so... A proud you know. people. An honorable, an honorable <laughs> clan. Beverly, it's early and I kind of can't breathe, dude. It hey, kind of sucks. Uh, Scoutmaster, hard one, can we, can we please maybe let them out of the bags? Just... I, I will let you cut an air hole. <laughs> but I'm not letting this motherfucker just, out of the okay, bag. Okay, I, I just, I feel like we could probably camp here. I feel like we're oh, safe. Are we into the woods? You're into the woods, Can I yes. make a check to see if we're safe? Maybe like nature or something like that? Do you guys want to be able to still see the castle and kind of just hide? I mean, Moonshine can do lookout, or you guys can go deeper into the forest. I think we should try and like have like at least the vantage point of it. I also think, you know what, I think we deserve a nice little a little rest and nap and I think we should set up a nice little camp. That's nice. Yeah. Hard one, I just think the green teens would be very good at setting up a camp. We are all expert camp setters. Um, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Tell you what, I wordlessly tilt the bag upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Durlin falls out for one damage. <laughs> Oh, dude. Touch hands, oh, Derlin. Oh, dude, I can't touch hands. I can only do that once a day, man. All right, let's take a rest, oh, buddy. Oh, y'all, y'all powerful oh, little sweet youngins. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> sc- I didn't mean to damage the sc- little fuck. Sc- sc- <laughs> Master Hardwell, do you have any RX bars? <laughs> I would give you an RX bar. I'm sorry I hurt you. For the record, though, I am a million times better than Denny, who let you get kidnapped in the first place. He's got a good point. He's actually my, my favorite Scoutmaster, probably. Yeah, yeah Denny's a piece of shit. Y'all, it's time to kill your idols. Uh, <laughs> Denny, as we've said before, Denny is a, a craven man who deserves nothing. Yeah, kill your idols is the the last step in the in the Green Teen Handbook. It's it's actually in there. So yeah, dark. Yeah, Baller. I respect it. It's it was written a long time ago. I could get on board with these Green Teens. <laughs> so Cran turns to you guys. How, how are we gonna case this joint? What are we doing? <laughs> I, well, I box them out and start talking. About <laughs> <really>. <laughs> <laughs> that really a mood I mean, I do think that we have a question to ask ourselves. Well, first off, I do think that we'll take a little a little rest. We'll have a little yeah. relaxation. So where are you guys going to take a long rest? I think we're gonna make a little camp yeah. here. Okay. So you're gonna make, make a I'll camp make, here. I'm gonna make like um like a sofa and a love seat okay. out of mud. Still in view of the castle? Obscured. Obscured okay. by but we can see it. Give me a nature or survival check. With oh. advantage, because the green teens will help you build a little camp. <laughs> but also, because I get... I think I, I can make a lean-to out of sticks. I got a 15 survival. Great. Cool. 
Oh, actually, 20. Great. Okay. Okay. The green teens get to work making <laughs> a little lean-to out of sticks and leaves. They make a... I'm making, I'm making like a 70s den out of mud. I got like a nice like three-person sofa. Wow. A nice like love seat. We should do a That 70s Show style <laughs> spin around thing today. Yeah. Hanging out <laughs> down the street. <laughs> it is all made of mud, though. I've got... I'm No, but I'm also doing a shag rug out of a uh, sea grass. Okay, okay. It's <laughs> still mostly mud. Cool. Yeah, so they build they build a couple of little lean tos. You see the green little teens with the burlap sack. The, yeah. the three green, green teens <laughs> use the burlap sacks as sleeping bags, and they all get in the same lean to that's a little bit bigger than the other ones. They go, "Come on, Scoutmaster Hard One, you can sleep in our lean to." <laughs> It, it really mean a lot if you slept in the lean to with him. Yeah, does, did yeah. Danny sleep in the lean to with everybody? Is that what Danny did? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, I no. I Danny think... always got a hotel room. <laughs> Whoa. Hard one. Yeah, Danny would make us camp by nice. ourselves. <laughs> Danny God. said it made us better scoutmasters if he stayed at the inn. Fuck and we it. Slept I really outside. don't want to follow in any of Danny's footsteps. <laughs> I'm crawling into the lean to. <laughs> Move over. Don't cuddle too close. I do. Um, I whip out my uh, my bullywog flesh sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, I, I flap it out in view of the green teens to kind of uh, show off a little bit. Erlen looks at it and goes, "Oh, dude, did you kill a bullywog in self defense?" <laughs> That's, That's right, the- kid. Your buddy uh, collects skin and teeth now. <laughs> <laughs> self defense is the best kind of killing, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what the book says. And if the book says it, it has to be true. Uh, Scoutmaster Hard One, could you read to us from the book of Pelor? <laughs> I really think it's important that we take a nap, man. But I'll tell you what, one chapter. <laughs> you, you read them a story about how Pelor's light created the weakness for the first vampires. Oh. How that that's why vampires have sunlight sen- sensitivity is because of Pelor's light. Oh, cool. Huh. I don't know that either. Yeah, we all that well, we all learned something. Wow! I learned would like today. to I would like to give a gift to each of my fellow green teens. Beautiful. I give Durlin the uh, chipped bullywug tooth. Oh man, a frog tooth! Yeah, I. Um, they have such nice smiles, man. Their smiles are beautiful. This one tried to bite me, and uh, its tooth came off of my shield. Oh, that's awesome! I'm missing a tooth, and you see Durlin <laughs> starts like jamming it in a missing tooth oh, spot don't. in okay. his front teeth. Hard one oh, notices nobody has a dentistry <laughs> pet. <laughs> uh, and I give Cran the the venom tooth, the the viper tooth. Oh, oh, snake tooth, cool! <laughs> I can get my snake tooth badge. Yeah, isn't it weird that that's a badge? It's weird that that's a badge. Some of these badges seem really arbitrary. It's but... weird that there's a snake fang badge and a snake tooth badge. They're kind of the same badge. It's <laughs> for a molar. <laughs> yeah, that, well, when the two organizations, when the green teens and the, the leaf kids merge, there's a lot of redundancy. Yeah. Uh, and then I give the alligator tooth to uh, to Erlen. Oh, man, this is actually a crocodile tooth. <laughs> I don't... Don't, don't ruin it, Erlen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I pulled this from a crocodile that was trying to eat me, but then I did like a really cool performance and made it seem like I was being eaten. That's... Yeah, it was a really badass performance. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a really smart idea, dude. <laughs> everyone agreed it was. <laughs> I think everyone would agree that was really cool, badass, and smart. <laughs> anyway, when I got attacked, I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> this is Erlen saying this? This is Erlen saying it. Erlen, no, you're... You're good at this. We, we just got to I just more. got my ass kicked. No, we just got to like, we just got to work on it. Like when we get back to g- g- later on, you and me, we're going to hit the gym. We're going to like just go every day. We're going to work on our shadow boxing and you're going to get swole. I promise. Tell you what, Erlen, you finally have two great scout masters here. We're going to yeah. teach you how to kick ass. You guys are almost as cool as Scoutmaster Denny. <laughs> uh, God, I hate to inst- hear that. Instantly falls asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so everybody goes to bed except for Moonshine. Yeah, yeah, I'm out front. I'm a, uh, I'm checking Paw Paw for soft spots. <laughs> I'm making sure Paw Paw. So I'm many like, soft, his head weirdly like, has a soft spot. <laughs> like but I'm like making sure he didn't be. get. 
<laughs> I'm like making sure he didn't get hurt during the battle. Right. So like no, kind yeah. of like you would do like if you were inspecting like an avocado or a melon in the grocery store. <laughs> right. His, I'm doing that, like holding him by the tail, checking him for soft spots. His skull feels like a soft avocado, and every time you press in his head, you see his eyes bug out, and he goes. <laughs> 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 Is that like those stress things? Is yeah. that new? <laughs> no, it's it, new. it's always been like that. It's always been, okay. always been like that. So I'm just doing that for. You're fun. checking to make sure his skull didn't get harder than a soft avocado. <laughs> just normal level of pawpaw manginess. Yeah. Just okay. some knotted fur and classic such. pawpaw. If pawpaw is soft in all the right uh, places, then I'm gonna go and enter my trance. Cool. Aww. I'm gonna start. <laughs> Loudly chanting Melora. <laughs> Just there. Everybody wakes up. Nobody gets their spells back. Okay, so you're in a trance for about four hours. You do see near the end of your trance, you see the winged kobold coming up from the guard towers in the front and flying out to the back. And he starts kind of hovering over the two back guard towers to kind mm. of do recon. Am I within 120 feet of him? No, you guys are pretty far away. Mm. All right, so we're just seeing like a silhouette. You're right? not seeing anything. Yeah, You're Moonshine asleep. is. Yes. So he's doing like recon? It looks like he's on guard duty. Why would he still be on guard duty? Interesting. Um, Maybe because we killed his wizard. Why don't you go ahead and give me a perception check? <laughs> too legit to crit. <laughs> too, you got a two? Too legit to crit. <laughs> too legit. Um, technically, I got a oh, cool. seven. Hey. Okay, a seven. Yeah, there's definitely a a, a, a guy flying around there. <laughs> Seven cool. legit to crit. <laughs> can I do a perception check for Pawpaw? <laughs> <laughs> what is Pawpaw? I can I can roll for Pawpaw. He's not very perceptive. <laughs> Pray for Pawpaw. Roll for Pawpaw. <laughs> Pawpaw hits a nat twenty, right? <laughs> Pawpaw got an eight, which is better than you. <laughs> Papa, I give, I give Papa I minus ask, two to perception. I ask Papa to mind what he sees because I can't see shit. Can you can you speak to animals? Nah. Okay. And, so Papa and, just goes, <laughs> and he's and he's just pointing his nose up at the cool, at cool. the tower. Uh, we start chanting Malor and go back into our trance. <laughs> okay. You see, so you see the one guy casing kind of where you guys were before when you belayed down in that back tower. And you see out of the front tower in like the distance, you see another winged kobold fly off. But he's, oh, still, but he's still just flying around his castle, right? No, he's he left. Keep. He's booking it. He's, he's going somewhere. Okay. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. Is he going to get more kobolds? He might be taking the egg. Oh, um, how no. long is it? Has everyone slept for eight hours? No, not yet. <clears throat> uh, I would like to describe my dream. Okay. <laughs> Another wet dream. <laughs> uh, this one's only moist. It's just hard one, uh, just scaling a mountain. Just oh, scaling, too, just brother. like glistening, very moist, uh, shiny bronze. <laughs> um, and Papa's there, but it's just Papa, and he's also got like a big muscular body. <laughs> but it's just Papa's head. Uh, and so and that does says, not produce yeah. the little stain. <laughs> yeah, no. how big is the stain this dream No, makes? no, no, it's under control. Roll for stain. <laughs> roll for stain. <laughs> going to make me roll for stain? No, I won't make you roll for stain. <laughs> uh, Moonshine's there too, but like every time I look at her, the dream just like cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> too pure hearted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to let it fucking be. Yeah. I think you just report, I think maybe just report to us what you saw. Okay. So I re-enter my trance yet again. <laughs> I, see, I see something and I don't say something. <laughs> Once oh again, I'm goodness. part of the problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A couple hours later, go ahead and give me another perception check. Well, <laughs> something's happening. Okay. Well, I got uh, 14. Okay. You, you see that other winged kobold that had left fly back into his tower. Ah, that's heartening. Okay. <laughs> that's um, good. Cool. Maybe. Um, I, I yeah, clock just, that. Well, I <clears throat> acknowledge that. Mental note. He and just... then I give Papa a raspberry on his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you do that for a, a full two hours until, every, until everybody wakes up to the sound of a possum. Being raspberry. Being raspberry. A literal raspberry raspberry alarm clock, yes. <laughs> Erlen exposes his belly to hard times. <laughs> shake my head. 
Um, okay. okay, where to next, Scoutmasters? <laughs> Y'all are going to stay here. I'll tie you to a tree if I have to. <laughs> um, hey, Bev, hard one, let's have a little chit-chat. How okay, about how up? about everyone who's not a level three wears earmuffs? <laughs> uh, anyone? That's you, uh, yes, yes, ma'am, Scoutmaster. And they all <laughs> touch they, they ears. All um, <laughs> touch wait, quick, ears. real quick, take the headphone, he- take the earmuffs off. They can't hear you. You need to. <laughs> okay, I physically them. remove you physically them. Remo- <laughs> okay. I say, uh, for future reference, that's Scout Mistress. And then I put his hands back. <laughs> Okay, so the kobolds were, there's something still going on there because those little uh, winged ones are still doing surveillance and they left and then they came back. So I don't know if they're still guarding the dragon egg. That would be my assumption. Maybe they just flew away to go to the bathroom? They probably have a bathroom in the castle. But if they had to take a shit, they might be embarrassed to do it. I don't know what the plumbing is. Yeah, there's a Starbucks uh, somewhere in the swamp. (laughs) (laughs) And 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 a Timmy (laughs) Hoos. Yeah, the one winged kobold does not like Tim Hortons. (laughs) So he flies out and he flies to Starbucks. It's it's the dead of night right now. It is. Well, they have have good sight now. So the the Mm. sun has just gone down. Okay. So do we just rush that castle and try and or do we stealth in and then if in if we find ourselves in the event that we need to fight then we're ready yeah let's let's stealth in okay we, we try to i think we i say we try to take them out and then look for that one by thing. one yeah 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 we're let's all, storm the castle we're all yeah. really um, good at stealth so we should do that well no 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 i actually <laughs> have a little something oh if we're gonna stealth i would like to cast pass without trace oh nice oh. which gives us all a plus 10 to our stealth checks. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. That's dope. Yeah. Level Hell yes. three. That's level three? <laughs> what happens to our eyes at level 10? Now, Good in Lord. order in order for me to cast it on you, we do have to do one big group hug. I you're, spent you're all safe. night being spooned by Earl and Derwin <laughs> and Cran. That's fine. I'm going to also go ahead and bring the youngins in, and do, and so we all I cast Pass Without Trace on all of them. Are we oh. touching hands? Nope. Yep. No. Touch hands. We're touching Not everything. <laughs> okay. All right, sweet little youngins. <laughs> All right, so you give them stealth too so they can hide well? Yeah. Nice. Scoutmasters, what is our mission? Your mission. <laughs> They're is. all standing in line saluting you. Your mission is to keep the camp as clean as possible. Oh, my poor. I can do that. And you see <laughs> Erlen runs over and just starts fixing up some sticks. Bardor's like, I could also put them back in the sacks. <laughs> That won't be necessary. <laughs> all right. I don't know if you noticed, but they all have their hiding patches. <laughs> yeah, are, y'all yeah. are littered with patches. Oh, yeah. There's, like, very little real estate. Halflings are very good at hiding and digging holes and living in those holes. And creating unnecessary patches. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? Why don't y'all do that while we're gone? Will you create an intricate system of holes under the ground that we could hide in later? <laughs> Green teens, it's tunnel time. <laughs> Tunnel time! <laughs> and they all touch hands again and then just get down and like dogs start thinking in the dirt. I um, I almost feel bad about this. Yeah, I, I turn to Moonshine and, be, and, and whisper, I'm a little worried. <laughs> These kids just, weren't worth the cross. They're already they really for. deep and so tired. <laughs> See, Durlin just passes out in the, in the little ditch. Yeah. <laughs> no nice. one has a tunnel patch. <laughs> Nice moves, Erlen. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> cool. I think they're going to keep themselves entertained. Good, good, good. So we've got Pass Without Trace. So I say let's just start stealthing up back to that castle. Are we, um, before we proceed, are we a little worried about leaving these green teens alone? Um, no, because she I, cast I pet, the spell yeah. on them. I, I, so they can not stealth. Gonna okay, cool. Will they, I'm also going to tell them, you should be stealthing the whole time. So is she secret pa- password when you guys get back? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I'll let I'll let Beverly choose it. Cause okay, okay. He knows what y'all like. <laughs> the secret password is bronze ash. Wow! And just in case anyone forgets it, it'll just be us coming back. <laughs> so you, you'll see oh, our what faces. If, what if a bullywug wizard pretends to be you, Scoutmaster Hardwick? Fine, we'll say bronze ash. <laughs> bronze ash. Bronze ash. <laughs> Bronze, bronze ash. ash. <laughs> so okay, quieter. Though, yeah. quieter. Remember, shh, shh. we're having stealth okay. fun. We're having fun we're stealthing. We're having fun stealthing. <laughs> right. Let's sneak around. <laughs> they just start sneaking around and playing tag, but real quiet. <laughs> tag, you're it. Tag, you're it. 
<laughs> Tag, you're it. Bev, Tag, you're it. Bev, tell me about these these youngins. How did you get mixed up with them? And, and do you think what they're doing is charming? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I feel like I used to, but uh, I don't know. Ever since I met you guys, they seem a little less cool. Pretty much all of this seems a little less cool. I think maybe I like hanging out with y'all. Is that okay? I, yeah, I give I him a good gotta, hair tussle. You got a taste for decapitation. I like you. Yeah, kid. <laughs> I give him a good hair tussle, and I give him my second thumbs up of my life. <laughs> Once again, it's kind of it's kind of crooked. <laughs> that said, I still do love badges very much. Yeah, we know. we'll keep doing that. We'll okay. keep doing that. <laughs> okay, so which way are you guys stealthing in? <laughs> I think we should stealth towards the front, so we don't have to swim. Yeah, yeah. they're and they're in the they're in the rear two towers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So you see, yeah, the one winged kobold is going around the back two towers. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you guys are going back around the front. Yep. Yep. You guys go back around the front. You guys are in the front of the castle. Now, is there a, a drawbridge? I'm trying to remember. The drawbridge is gone. It's mm-hmm. just an archway with like two hanging chains. There is water in the front here, uh-huh. but it's only like three or four feet deep. So you guys can either be up to your chests mm-hmm. or you can be swimming down. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, I just didn't know if there was anything special we could use to like stealth. But we Beverly, have like... you want to do like a little chicken thing? On my shoulders. I would love that very much. Cool. (laughs) That won't make you easy to spot at all. (laughs) Oh yeah. I mean, if it gives you disadvantage, you still got plus ten. That's cool. (laughs) I think there's only so much we can fail. How are you guys doing this? I think we just wade through uh, and get to the the okay. So you guys swim. I'll give you a piggyback later, kid. Okay. Let me see if anybody sees any. We're feeling real confident about that plus ten. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, dude. These guys don't have their sunlight sensitivity anymore. So let's see. He did not roll well, so... Oh, you guys have a plus 10? Yep. Roll to just see if you do amazing. That's uh, I did pretty amazing. 27, I guess. Oh. Holy shit. I got a 29. Shit. Wow, and I thought I did amazing. I got the lowest score with a 25. <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, wait, I got even more than that because my stealth is decent. I got a 31. You know what? We're turning a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> We're turning level, a new leaf here. I'm so yeah. proud of you guys. Okay. Band of Boobs is a professional fucking campaign now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funny about this. Just precise, devastating play. Mid-maxing. I immediately, I googled metagaming, and that's all I play. That's all I do now. Oh yeah, we're also all at third. Uh, you're, you're, right? you're at third. You're at third level, and I you're at full HP. Yeah. yeah. I googled how to ha- how to be good at having fun. <laughs> <laughs> how to be good and not have fun. Yeah. Which is even better D and D. But we're Absolutely. stealthing, so can we like can we assume that like right now we're like we're doing it so well? Can we assume that we're sort of moving in a way that it's not that it's not even that we're hiding in the shadows as much as we look like we belong. Yeah. Like yeah. We're moving with like like almost, we own the damn place. Yeah. We you are guys, <laughs> you guys are the wind, essentially. Can we do that thing? Can we do that thing where like there's a corner, and then we all peek our heads around the corner? <laughs> yeah, can we? Because we roll you so well. Absolutely can. <laughs> yes. So you guys swim up so silently. Uh huh. So oh. fucking silently. Silky. You guys swim up underwater. You guys get to this archway. You guys all peek your heads around, sitcom style. Yeah, it, w- it would go Beverly Bottom. Yeah. Then, uh, then Moonshine. Then, Moonshine, uh-huh. then Hard One. And then Paw Paw at the very bottom. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, I was thinking Paw Paw pops out at the top after, oh, like, after Or just out of your walk. cleavage. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> he starts loudly screeching. Like a little screeching. snake being born out of an egg. <laughs> and then we cut around. <laughs> we cut around to reveal that y'all it are. It sounds like an egg cracking when it comes out of my cleavage. <laughs> and this with the hiss, too. <laughs> okay, so you guys see. When you look in, you see there was this mess hall that Moonshine had seen before where they were cutting up tables. Right. You see this cut up broken table. But what really catches your attention is you see two beefy kobolds. Nice. Like, Whoa. Uh, less lean. Not dude, quite as less light as lean. <laughs> like definitely a higher body fat percentage, right. but yeah. still <laughs> just more a couple mass, of beef no cakes. definition. Just a couple of beef cakes, really. <laughs> two beef cakes yeah. with shields and little swords. And they are waiting at the door. Are the swords actually little, or do they just look little in their big, beefy hands? They're actually regular-sized swords, so if anything, they look huge. Oh, yeah, to me. To, all right, so they're standing guard. They look like they're waiting to jump through the door at something. Okay. Oh, so maybe the dragon is being hatched. <gasps> 
Interesting, interesting. Um, I think we need to assassinate them. I think we need to yeah. perception check to see like what. Yeah, we can you see. can do it. You do. You can do a perception check. <laughs> yeah. Or insight. Oh, insight's good. Oh, that's a sixteen. Ooh, that's good. Let me see. Let me see how Moonshine's doing if she's. Uh, a... my, my perception check is an eleven. Okay. That's I not got bad. Fifteen. You guys watch for a little bit. They seem like they're maybe they're they're kind of waiting for something to happen. They're okay. waiting to jump in. All right, all right. Um, There's sentries waiting for us, I think. Yeah, yeah. They they're waiting for someone to come and do exactly what we were about to do. <laughs> I think that we should. Lo- Does anyone else have long range attacks other than me? I have javelins. I got throwing axes. Yeah. You actually don't have any javelins. Your one sank and you broke your other one up. I, no, I had five to start. Did you have five? Yes. Okay. I've been keeping track yeah. of my javelins. All right, then you have three. <laughs> so you have three more to destroy. You have three exactly. More to and I will destroy them. They are expendable. You also have all of Erlen ja- Erlen's javelins because he has never thrown one in his life. <laughs> <laughs> he gave them to me as a precious keepsake. <laughs> so you want to chuck some weapons at these guys? Yeah, yeah. Can we do a coordinated thing where we, we do like a three, two, one, and then we each launch something? Oh, that's fun. You absolutely can. These guys are pretty beefy. You guys think you're going to take them yeah, out? they're with? beefy, what's but their, so am I. Yeah, what sort of diet do they are they on? They look like they're on keto. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty but, beefed cool. out. That's cool. Have they eaten? <laughs> I look at so like, You know a little cardio a normal, goes a long way. A normal little kobold is like two feet tall, uh-huh. and they look like they probably weigh like 25 or 30 pounds. These guys look like they weigh 80 pounds. Wow. That's Whoa. Fat now, they were, now they were in the area though i will say i could turn into a giant wolf spider now and then <gasps> climb because i have yeah. spider climb so i could go find out what's happening in the that's back. cool that's yeah. really good okay so i'm gonna do that spider. i'm gonna stealth so now would i have plus 10 plus 7 yes oh that's oh, a stealthy shit. spider so i'm gonna i'm gonna a transform into a giant wolf spider. Okay. It's really visceral and so, it looks so painful. <laughs> you just hear her bones crunching Papa as is they very twist concerned. and turn. Uh, Papa is freaking the oh, fuck out. Oh, I'm going to tuck, I'm going to tuck uh, Papa into your, uh, in my backpack? Into Beverly's cleavage? No, into Beverly's, um, he's my wears, like, little plate mail, doesn't he? Yes. No, put him on or my sash. He's got so he's got, I got him like a little, uh, a little baby. Oh, like okay. a baby Bjorn. Yeah. yeah. I'll put him in your sash. Okay, for future cool. reference, Papa could also go into my beard. I don't know. Oh, that's good. As a little, a little nest. I feel like just for like now we'll do sash. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I just love. I like Papa too. That's all. <laughs> Crossbow bolt shoot out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn into a, a giant wolf spider. Okay. And I scale the walls okay, back um, to go spy. Great. Roll a stealth check. You are probably. Going to get by these guys because they rolled a two. This is a dumb question. Are the doors open? No, that door is closed. So how is she getting through? Because there's I'm, no I'm ceiling. I'm, I'm spider climbing. Oh, right. There's no ceiling, though. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so what did you I roll for 30, stealth? 30, 31. Doors. 31. Holy yeah. shit. Huh. Okay. So you crawl Are there out. any spider webs? There are no spider okay. webs. No big ones for a giant wolf spider. <laughs> there might be some tiny ones if you really want to look around and look for some little baby spiders. <laughs> that seems like a good use you, of okay, time. Yeah, great. no. Yeah, you use your full action to do that. So you you I skitter still instincts. <laughs> you skitter across the ground, this disgusting big spider. You climb up the wall and you look down into that sleeping area where you had seen the kobolds could climb up the ladder and get into the chapel. So you can see into the chapel and you can see down into the sleeping area. So go ahead and roll me a perception check. 15. 15. Okay. Down in the sleeping area, you see that there are kobolds sitting in their little, like, haystacks that they sleep in, but they're just waiting. They sleep in haystacks? They st- sleep in pelts and stuff. So there's <laughs> little damn pelts heathens. and stuff. Why? You're going to be in a castle. Don't sleep in a haystack. <laughs> yeah. How's their dental hygiene? It's probably <laughs> terrible. Not, not great. Not great. Um, okay, so they're sleeping in their haystacks. They're not sleeping. <laughs> they're sitting on top of their pelts and stuff, the things that they sleep on. Uh-huh. They're sitting there and they're waiting for something. Do mm. I see the egg? You do not see the egg. No. Gotta get that egg. I would now like to do a perception check on Dark Chapel. Great. So the Dark Chapel's on the second floor, which is eye level to you. So you look over to your right. I look over for big whopping 23. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Good okay. rolls. Here come the good rolls. There we go. So oh, you- sorry, 22. Okay. Still. Oh, shit. No, you don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you look over to your right into the Dark Chapel. You see that the three tables that were being built, presumably to sacrifice the green teens on, and Mm. there are bullywugs hiding under it, looking like they're ready to pounce and jump down. What? Bullywugs hiding under? 
under tables. Bullywugs and and Holy cobalts shit. working together. Okay. Or not working together. Oh, the bully. Yeah, they're fucking. They're we're, we just we're spying on a battle that's about to Faction happen. Faction war. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Okay, so I scurry back and I'm still a giant spider. Oh no, I can't talk to you guys when I'm a giant spider. Yeah. Well, I, ugh, shape shift out. It's again really painful. You hear my bones <laughs> reforming. <laughs> it's so visceral. Um, and then I tell you guys what I saw. Well, before you do that, I, I finish showing uh, Hard One the cat's cradle that I was uh, I was teaching him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mildly impressed. So then you uh, <laughs> you remove the middle finger, uh, loop back the no. ring fingers, and oh, she's back. I can't believe this is the same. He's just. Kid. Loudly banging <laughs> around while collects <laughs> fucking teeth. Um, so yeah, I don't know if the bullywogs are. I don't know if this is like a big siege that they're all working together, or if they're against each other. There's bullywogs here too. Yeah, huh. hiding in the dark chapel room. Seems like a some sort of faction war. I feel like we can just can we just hang out and wait and see what happens? Would it be crazy to? I'd like to like get it started. Ooh. I wonder if spark the powder keg. Yeah. I wonder if we did if I did some kind of ranged attack if they would assume it was bullywogs or something like cool. that. Yeah. Do you think that's worth it? Do I we have cool. anything that would that would register as a bullywog weapon? Otherwise they might be <gasps> Do, suspicious. Did we grab oh, anything? Javelin and spears. Uh, oh my god, we don't we Oh no, you gave your bullywog Let's do another bullywog oh, no. mating call. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this thing into a fucking orgy, baby. We maybe that's should what the Jamperine's all about. Sound. <laughs> Not necessarily a mating call. Okay, or we could just—I don't know. What do you guys think we should do? I'm da- I, I like the idea of uh, killing one of these guys by the door. So, are we gonna put? Are we gonna train all three of our attacks on one guy? Or are we going to do, like, two on one and one on the other? I think we should probably try and take out both of them if possible, yeah, right? Okay. same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm probably going to use Ice Knife. And Are they within five feet of each other? Yes. Then it, if I hit, it would do damage on both of them. So I'll try Ice Knife. Cool. I'm gonna th- I'll throw my uh, throwing axe at uh, whichever one is slightly beefier. <laughs> <laughs> cool. If there's one guy w- that has just like a bigger like bigger pecs. Yeah, the one on the right looks like he does a lot of squats and his ass is very plump. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so is mine. So I'm going to go okay. after that dude. <laughs> okay. So are you guys basically all throwing stuff at the same time? Yeah, yeah. we're going to do a three, two, one. All on the same guy? Or on different guys. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, I'm doing it up. on the other guy, the one that, the one with the less plump ass. Yeah, but oh, the one also, that does all yeah. vanity. Who's muscles? going I'm plump ass? Who's flag. going? No I'm going plump, plump ass. ass. Okay, I'm, hard ones on plump ass. I'll go big, big pecs. Big pecs. Yeah. I'm on that flat ass. <laughs> on the flat ass. Okay. So hard one, go ahead and throw your axe at plump butt. But we're doing this all simultaneously. And roll with roll with advantage, because you guys snuck up on these guys like crazy. Hell yeah. I got a thirteen. Ranged attack. You only got a 13. Okay. Yeah. With advantage? 14, I got 14 plus yeah, 5, advantage. so 19. Well, fuck my dick. I think I got a 9. Okay, and you rolled two <laughs> d20s roll and picked the higher one? Yeah, I did. And I rolled yeah. a 5 each time. <laughs> wow, frankly. Cool. cool. Are you using the right dice? <laughs> oh, this is a d4. <laughs> <laughs> Which is amazing that I rolled a 5. <laughs> okay. I got 13. Okay, and you're throwing like an icy magic dagger? It is a shard of ice. Okay. Oh, wait, you know what? It. Technically, I got an 11, not a 9. Oh, and hey. hit or miss, hit or miss, the shard explodes, and each creature has to make a dexterity saving throw or get a 2d6 cold damage. Okay. Good shit. Okay, they failed their saves. Nice. So, so everybody don't... roll their damage, and then I'll tell you guys what happened. So hard one, you missed. But did I Even hit? You did missed I also. I missed With an 11, you missed. But they each take uh, 8. 8 damage. I got an 8. You got eight. an eight damage. Also. Icy damage. Ooh. Okay. And then also a javelin. Nice. <laughs> Hard one throws his axe at the plump ass, but focuses a little too hard oh, on the ass. plump ass <laughs> mm-hmm. and ends as up throwing it a little high. Is, I still miss the ass. <laughs> it clangs loudly <laughs> against God the wall. <laughs> uh, Beverly throws his javelin and does stab the other guy in his flat ass. And he goes, <laughs> oh! Oh, what? What? It was as, such a small target. <laughs> as as Moonshine is shocked at the hilarity of it and and misses a little bit with her ice dagger, but it hits the wall and shatters, and you see icicles stick to these guys and hurt them, and they go, ah, ah, they're behind us. They're not coming in the room. They're behind us. 
We Everybody hide. roll initiative. All right. Oh, they didn't go down? I wonder, did they like? They, did they see us throw the weaponry, or could we like... They did not see you throw the weaponry. If our they initiative, just got hit. So yeah. if our initiative was hypothetically higher than theirs, we could like, try to hide? Yeah. You could. I suppose you also had a surprise round, so if you guys basically yeah, want to throw it and then just go back into the swamp... What, they didn't see us. Let's let's hide and see if we, cre- we, if we spark hide? the war. Yeah. Between the bullywugs and the okay, yeah, and the so cobalt. you guys are just gonna go kind of back in the water, or are you guys going back in the forest? Where maybe you guys we should going? go in the water. Should we like duck into like the, a wall behind the flooded room? So you guys are gonna go to the right into the flooded room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. So you I guys, we, we still have te- plus ten for our yeah, our stealth we have it right? for like an hour. So you guys threw your stuff kind of as you were running over to the flooded room. Yeah. So we'll yeah. say you didn't even have to roll we initiative. That was just okay. that was just your surprise round. That was your honestly. Action. That's why I missed the dude. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are just like, wait, so are we running and throwing at the same time? And hard one is just completely distracted and just clangs off the wall. I do want to be trying to overhear. Great. So yeah. you guys run over through the open doorway to the right into the flooded room. Can yeah. I real quick, if we're not in initiative anymore, um, okay. can I check, like do like a quick glance to see if there are any bullywogs in the water? Or like, would I know that? You have to just get in the water. All right, if you're cool. gonna, and you guys are going to need to do stealth checks getting in the water because you guys are running. All right, you cool. guys just threw stuff and are getting in the water. Love this water. Hey, everybody. It's Emily here to talk to you about Aura Frames. Mother's Day is coming up, and some of us are looking for a way to shower the maternal figures in our life with love. Well, look no further. Aura Frames are the digital picture frames that bring all your photos and videos together in one gorgeous, high-resolution display. They're super easy to set up. They save you from the struggle of printing and framing your favorite photos, but most importantly, they help you stay connected with family that live far away. That's because you can kind of preload a bunch of pictures onto the frame but you also get to keep adding pictures and you can invite the rest of your family to add pictures the gifts you make mean the most so this year turn your family's past into the perfect mother's day present with a connected frame from aura right now aura has a great deal for mother's day listeners can visit auraframes.com slash papa to get up to 30 dollars off on their best-selling frames that's a-u-r-a frames.com slash P-A-W-P-A-W. Plus, listeners can get free shipping with code P-A-W-P-A-W at checkout. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye, sweeties. Hey there, Nadpoles. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost, folks? Well, most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the actual total is closer to around $200. Holy hell. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch that one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks a little funky. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Wow. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw that is rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw one more time for you rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw thank you you know what guys i rolled a one but guess what hard one does studied his character oh wait no shit i don't get no you don't that's just an automatic oh no that's a failure Cool. I studied my character and I know that sucks. No, Hardwin, you studied my character. I get to re-roll on one. That Lucky. was a that was a watch this moment. That was. <laughs> okay. Okay, so watch you guys this. You guys, you guys you... I studied my character and <laughs> Hold on. and I failed big time. Well, you know what? I actually have a plus four for stealth, so that's five and a plus ten. So that's my friend, 15. you rolled the yeah, nat yeah. one. You fell in that water. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So you guys Jake's like, I studied for chemistry. What do you mean it's a math test? <laughs> 
I'm Hard One gonna... leads the way, throws the axe, it clangs. He's so ashamed of himself that he keeps watching it like a bowler who just threw really poorly, just hoping it'll turn at the last second and hit. Uh, as he falls into the water in the flooded room. Oh my God, you're a fucking You mess. see these two uh, cobalt big I'm beefy dudes. These two big beefy oaf. dudes go, oh, oh, they're behind us. They're not coming in this room. They're, they're, they're the other way. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> All right. Great job. Cool stealth. Ooh 17. That's 12. Uh-oh. That's uh, six. Moonshine, you act first. Hard one just fell in the water. You're standing in the doorway there. Beverly's right behind you, and these two guys are at the doorway leading to the sleeping area, and they've turned, and they're looking at you. Can I use my bonus action before my action? You sure can. Okay, then I will shalala, shalala um, my up. scimitar, and then I want to try to, like, um, assassin style, like, grab one of them back with my shalala. You want to try to grapple him? Mm, yeah, I guess I don't want to fucking do that. Okay, I'm just going to fucking attack <laughs> okay. him. <laughs> Moonshine just runs up crazed and tries to smack him. Are you symbiotic ent- entity or anything? No, but I still have my Halo Spores even when I'm not. Cool, do it up. Ooh. That's definitely gonna fucking hit. You going after... That's going to be a 23 because I got Shillelagh. Dope. Are you going after no ass or plump ass? Mm. I'm going after... No I'm... ass has been hit a little bit more, but they're both still looking pretty healthy. <laughs> Then I'm going after pretty plump and still healthy then you know runs. what? I'm still riding that flat ass. Okay. Good. Leave plump ass for me. All right. You're in the water, dude. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing 23 <laughs> hit. 23 hits. 23 hits. 23 hits. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit him for 10. Oh. 10. Dope. And then I'm going to halo spores him for three more. So I hit him and then smear some spores from my lip onto his oh lip. Oh, my God. You <laughs> smack him with your shillelagh. You wipe spores in his face. He goes like, oh, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and that is going to be those guys. So the one that you just spored is going to swing at you with his sword. Oh, shit, y'all. And <laughs> he <laughs> is getting a 16 to hit. Oh, that's going to hit. That is only a two. Two damage. Nice! He swings again. He gets two attacks. Oh, motherfucker. And he's going to hit again for four damage. So he hit me for six total. Yes. Okay. This other guy is going to disengage. He run, He opens the door and runs back into the other room. Fuck. And he yells, everybody, they're in the front. They're in the front. And you hear everyone getting up and standing up. <laughs> okay, we need to drag this this guy into the water with us or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> that is going to be hard one. Or maybe we just need to kill him. Yeah, let's, let's just kill I'm gonna, him. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill him and then everybody's going to have to get into the water. Murph, yes. I just I just remembered something. Mm-hmm. Do I have my bullywug sleeping bag on me? Uh, if you say that you brought your whole backpack as on your a, mission instead of leaving it at the camp, as a standard, be a be an honest green teen. <laughs> would you have left your sleeping bag at the camp? I think I would probably roll it up and put it with me in my backpack. Okay, <laughs> I believe I think you're a little stinker, but I'll, <laughs> I'll believe you. I think you might get your lying badge, but. <laughs> A green okay. scene is always prepared. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to try to get in your bullywug sleeping bag and pretend to be a bullywug? Yep, that's what's going on. Okay, wait for and your then turn, do the but that's call. insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh, Hard one, you're up. Cool. Yeah, do your dumb thing. So you're in the doorway of this other room. You just splashed in the water, and that's what made them see you guys. Well, also, you threw stuff at them. Right. But So one guy, flat ass is still in the room. Flat ass is still in the room. He's hurt. And the other guy just ran into the, other the guy room just and, ran everybody, off and everybody, everybody is getting and up. And you hear, you hear loud yell. You hear, what? What? They were supposed to come in this way. All right. Oh, there's Tim Hortons. Put it away. Put it away. <laughs> Put away the Tim Hortons. Oh, I got coffee. I thought the wicked, the wicked guy was supposed to find him and then we were going to get him. Oh, oh, put the donut away. I was just eating a dog. Let me finish it. <laughs> you hear one guy like furiously trying to, don't try to choke it down. You're going to choke me. We got a cargo load before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plump ass dude. <laughs> Give me some of those holes. Yeah, the other guy just went in there and ate a lean piece of chicken. <laughs> Go ahead, Arnold. Uh I think we got I think we hide. Uh it's too late for me. Oh yeah, you're Yeah, Moonshine's out. Okay. Also, a, a fight is a matter best. of seconds. So those guys will still the other guys in the other room are still gonna have to get in here and they will still have to roll initiative and stuff. I also think we could hide if you kill him and then use your action to grab me. Yeah, or if my can I use? So, like, I'll hide. kill him. I'm gonna kill him and use my action to shut the door. Can I shut? Can I shut the door? This dude. You can. You can do in, right? shut. The, you can shut the door. It's a minor action. Great. Cool. I'm gonna. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna swing at this. Uh, so flat ass cobalt. Swing at the flat ass cobalt. 
<laughs> that is a 15. That there you go. just hits. Oh, oh God good. damn right it does. <laughs> Roll your D12. He's like, you don't got shit on me, man. I do squats all the time. I swear to God, I don't just do curls. I don't just do curls, You can't man. skip leg day, bitch. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. That is a 14. Nice. 14. You slash this dude, and he looks like he's going to go down, but he's still barely alive. And he just goes, <laughs> fuck you, bro. I'm going to kick your fucking ass, man. Just I have naturally wait. skinny just legs. Wait, man. <laughs> he starts but I still shut the door. Great. So you close the door. And are you kind of like standing? Like are you kind move. of standing up against the door? Yeah, I'm going to try to hold the door. Cool. Great. Not a bad that's idea. That's a hard one. He's just threateningly whispering how much he can deadlift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Beverly, that's you. So are we... You've got one guy in your room that's on death's door. Yeah. You've got hard one trying to hold the door shut. Yep. And you hear lots of guys arguing over Tim Hortons in the other room. Okay. <laughs> I want the last Boston cream. <laughs> Give me the holes. Just stop fucking eating, man. <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm gonna pull out the uh, the sleeping bag, great, and just kind of like hold it up and be like, "What do you think?" I'm gonna say, "Ah, uh, I, uh, I throw it on, but also hit this guy." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can't hurt to throw it on, but this guy. Is I am on. gonna say it is going to take a full action to put on a sleeping bag as a costume. <laughs> hey, hey, Bev, they're never gonna buy you as a bullywog <laughs> because you don't have the teeth for it. I'm sorry to tell you. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, it's that's true, a my fair braces. point. Wait, you haven't been to the dentist. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if I? What if we use this as a distraction? What if we like threw it out there? You got this guy on death door. Yeah, should we just kill him first? I think so. Okay, unless maybe we could get some information out of him. Sure, if that's. Uh, this th th these guys are pounding on the door. Now I don't might think not it's be the time. It's true. Anybody. Okay, three, two, one, what do you do? I All right, here's what I do. I take my sword, okay? I point it at his throat, and I say, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this bullywug corpse, you're gonna walk out there, and you're gonna tell them that there's no problem. And if you don't, <laughs> there's gonna be a javelin through your throat in three seconds. Have a nice day. Uh, uh, roll an intimidation check, okay. <laughs> I like this yeah. move, I'm into That's this. That's great. All right. It's a 14, oh, plus six. Okay. <laughs> This dude goes, fuck, man, this little guy is hardcore. <laughs> I lick the tip of my javelin. Oh, my God. He's fucking weird, man. Oh, you're crazy, man. So what, you, just want me to, you want me to go in the fucking other room and just tell him what? The other guy saw you, man. I mean, just give me your, yeah, give me your fucked up thing. If you don't tell them fucking... that this is the person that attacked and that you killed him and that there's not a problem anymore. Yeah, all right. The other people were just seeing things. Okay. Look at this patch. Look at this patch. Yes, sir. I yes. point to my intimidation patch. You got it. Uh, so he's going to walk over to the door. Oh, excuse me. Hard one is very <laughs> impressed with Beverly. Yeah. I have my javelin pointed right into his beautiful glute. Are you? Uh, okay, so you're right behind him. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of following. But don't behind. follow him in. I don't follow him in. So you're behind him so you can stab him. Yeah, like right. Yeah, like he's gonna creak the door open, but I do. I'm like in position to stab him if he makes the wrong move. So he cracks open the door, <laughs> and you see there's Cobalt like already at the door, kind of trying to get in. He's like, "Stop, guys! Stop, guys! It's actually uh, everything's all good out here." <laughs> and then the the other dude is just like, "The fuck are you talking about? I saw there were three people. They were back there, man. <laughs> no, man, everything's." Fine. And you guys hear from above you, <laughs> they're here! The three of them are here! And two bullywugs jump down, three bullywugs jump down from the second floor up at the chapel. Oh, hell yes! And try to swing on you guys. Oh. Wait, on oh. us? Why would you think they're not working together? They were tr trading with each other. They were trading arms. I thought there was a. I, oh, oh man. All right, damn it. our okay. brilliant Every plan for a fucking coup. I, I thought one. we were going to get to fight on the side of the bullywogs. One can of them we, crits. Can Caldwell, like, can Beverly quick take an action and just poke him in the ass and Absolutely. see if he kills yeah, him? Absolutely. Yeah, you can kill him yeah. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> stab uh, him in his ass cheek and kill him. Okay. His just say little good, ass. good work, then stab him to death. <laughs> I say asses to asses, dust to dust, and I kill him. <laughs> no! <laughs> 
That was the last thing I'll ever hear. He does. <laughs> uh, this one guy, and you see these bullywugs have like fresh, new, awesome swords. Of course they do. Oh. Where'd they get those? Uh, the one guy crits on hard one for 12 damage. God damn it. Love to get crit. The other on. one swings down on Beverly and misses, and the oh, yeah. other guy hits you for five, Moonshine. Oh, y'all, this is not going our way. Hmm. Okay, so now <laughs> there's kobolds now trying to rush in. I'm still uh, holding the door, right? You are, you can, yeah, you can, as like a minor action, slam the door back shut. Yeah. Okay, so you're just up against the door holding it shut. I'm trying to hold it <laughs> shut so we can just fuck with these bullywogs. Great. First. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so Moonshine, that is you. Oh, that's me? Yes. How many How many bullywogs are with us? Three. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. just gonna swing my uh, Shalala scimitar at the one that crit. Great. Actually, I'm going to do it at the one that didn't crit. That okay, so the crit. one that hit you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're the one that hit me, Get some me, revenge. Shalala him. <laughs> Shalali. It's going to be 16. Oh, hey. my. 16 hit? That does hit. Yeah. Okay. Even with their be. beautiful new weapons. <laughs> and their pearly whites. Do you like my new sword? <laughs> then I'm going to hit him yeah. for six. You slash him across his chest, and he goes, oh, that hurt, but I'm still alive. And then I'm going <laughs> to snot rocket some spores into his open wound <laughs> oh. for three more damage. Three more damage. He's still alive, but he's on death's door. But That's that right. That's where you belong. Going... Sweeping death's door. <laughs> that is going to be... The strong ass kobold with the big butt. He I is killed going him. to try. To, there's two. The, no, you killed oh, flat ass. But didn't the flat ass one? We killed ran, flat ass, but I thought big ass one is locked in the room right he now. He is locked yeah. in the room. He's going to so try to ram try through. Him. Okay, yeah. So oppose. Good fucking luck. Oppose strength <laughs> check against hard one. Hard yeah. one, roll your strength. <laughs> I'll roll my fucking strength. Watch this. <laughs> What'd you get? You know what, buddy? <laughs> He only got a he only got a seven. What do you get on strength? My strength is should be like a plus four. Yeah, it is. What did you roll? It is plus four. I it's I got a twenty one, man. You got a twenty one. Twenty one. Damn. So I I do hope you were watching. (laughs) Moonshine goes, sorry, what? So you're on the other side of the door. You fucking killed my bro, bro. (laughs) I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. And then you should have done some work on your biceps, brother. (laughs) And then you just, the faintest little ding on the other side, he goes like, ow, fuck my shoulder, man. It just worked out. (laughs) Yeah, man. Fucking shoulder day, dude. These are the quads you wish you had. That's the only reason I can't. This is the core you can't take. That's the only reason I can't get in, bro. These are the quads you wish you had. This is the core you Dope. can't contain. <laughs> so I go, Harwan, is that like your green team creed? <laughs> As Scoutmaster, I've been coming up with my own. I love it. <laughs> Hard one. That we is... should do like a session sometime. <laughs> I like that. Erlin and I were talking about something. <laughs> Hard one, that is your turn. Okay. So you can move enough to take an action and still go back, and I can, I'll say you can still hold the door because cool. you're right there. Yeah, I got one foot on. So the you've door. Got, got one guy that's on death's door uh, that Mo- Moonshine just hit, and you've got the guy in front of you that just hit you. Yeah, and another guy before. that was trying to hit Beverly but missed. And then I'm gonna, go, I'm of... gonna swing my great axe at the dude that just hit me. Great, smart, the fucking yeah. blade to the teeth. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, and that is yeah, that's a like a twenty-two. Dope. Hey. You super hit. Oh! Oh, oh, your damage. Mm. You didn't roll a 19, did you? Because you got improved critical now. Uh, no, I got it. It was 16. Oh, 16. Still yep. good. Still good. Okay, that's 14. He's super dead. Finish him. Yes. Nice. I'm yeah. <laughs> winding up and just fucking axe through the teeth. <laughs> teeth through the back of the head, followed by the blade of the axe. Oh, man. Shattering them. He's cutting his so teeth. He just yells, no, I was so excited to make all these new friends. <laughs> Uh, hard one presses back up against the door. That is you, Bev. You got two bullywugs left, one right. who's on death's door, and one who's right in front of you. I mean, they're all close, so. If I have a, a vine spell that is supposed to work on uh, foes, yeah. could I use it to barricade uh, a door? Yeah, why not? You know okay. what? I'll say if you use the attack to put like vines on the door, I'll give hard one advantage on his strength checks against the other guys. Nice. All right, I'm going to channel divinity with nature's wrath, which cool. allows me to Ooh. invoke primeval forces to ensnare a foe. Um, are you as an action? So you do it as like the, on the door? Yep, spectral vines to uh, grab the door. Be- Beverly throws up some vines on the door. Mm-hmm. Oh, Melora, that little one is just growing up. <laughs> it mucks up Hard One's pants a little bit. <laughs> I had the door. <laughs> I think the vines probably are a little handsy. 
Yeah, they're, they're, they're like just yeah. pinching hard one's butt a little bit. Um, Ooh. Now that's uh, that's your action. Be, that's an action. Yes. Okay. As a bonus action, I'll cast Shield of Faith. Great. Um, On who? I will give it to Hard One. Great. Cool. Hard One, you've got plus two AC. Great. So cool. your AC, I think, is sixteen. So now it's eighteen. Yep. He's, Just he's getting AC. that to me before. Great. Love it. <laughs> Um, and I guess that's my turn. Great. Cool. That is the Bullywugs. There are only two left. The one that just witnessed Beverly doing the vine thing is going to swing at him. Did they think it was cool? Cool trick, man. But unfortunately, <laughs> I have to kill you now. Fair. You know, but I was... rolled a one. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. He just looks at the vines. Wow, cool vines. I wish I could swing on them. <laughs> and then he just whiffs while looking at the vines and thinking that they're cool. The other guy. Yeah, everyone is very distracted today. <laughs> just thinking about those vines. The other guy swings at moonshine. Buds oh, and vines. he he dinks. He rolls a three. <laughs> Yeah! They're both just looking at the vines. Uh, Did that vine just pinch your ass, man? You really should be focused right now. (laughs) The vines wave at him. Cool. So that is going to be the kobolds in the other room. So Now we got vines and hard one. Mm -hmm. Which is stronger? Who knows? Strong vines. Cool. So uh, My legs are trunks. Cool. So So (laughs) hard one, go ahead and roll with advantage. But these guys rainforest. are also going to roll with advantage because, let's see, four of them are going to try to ram into it. They're just all hyped up on That's a nat 20. Oh, oh, that's a nat 20. Woo! Don't scream. You feel Did come you? at my calves. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the, the beefy bro that come was on the other side? <laughs> the beefy bro that was on the other side yelling. You hear a couple guys be like, get out of the way, man, get out of the way. <laughs> you hear four of them stampede all at the same time. They hit the door, they break the door, it comes off his hinges. Hard one holds it up and shoves it back in. Oh, and it yes. clicks back in the doorway. That's so good. Uh, That's cool. The Mason, you it? do hear you hear a couple of kobolds trying to scramble up the wall. Oh, and right. you see one winged kobold from the scout tower in front of you guys, flies down into the room to join you guys, and the one that was staking out the back of the castle flies up on top of the wall. Got it. Okay. In this room. So he'll be able to attack you guys next turn. That is going to be Moonshine. Do I see any of them on the rafters? Any of the kobolds on the rafters? There is a winged kobold winged, up on one of the rafters. The winged guy. Oh, yeah. but he's got wings. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll let him be. <laughs> he does look like a little wiener, though. <laughs> he does. If it helps. He looks, he's for sure, he for sure and looks like a And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Chill Touch on that wiener up there. <laughs> You're going to Chill Touch a wiener? I'm going to Chill Touch a wiener. <laughs> okay. time. This entire podcast has been leading to this moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is one line. Yeah, so I've got 120 feet, so. Great. Uh, yeah, he's, do... he's right there. Mm, is 11 going to hit him? 11. He is a wiener. Is, is it gonna is it gonna truly gonna touch that him. wiener? Ah. So I don't hit. So then, but then I still say I'm not done with you, and I <laughs> and I snot rocket some more spores into his into the bullywog's gaping wounds. He's dead. Finish him. <laughs> I just I cha- I channel my energy. I channel my aura into the spores, and I make them grow into a beautiful phosphorescent mushroom garden. Whoa! And I say death is beautiful, y'all. If How much is. like this the- is beautiful, but it's in my bloodstream, <laughs> and he explodes. Guts get all over hard one. <laughs> you just you just awesome. Disneyland world of colored him. <laughs> cool. That is going to be the cobalt bro, <laughs> bro bald, the bro bald, bro bald. Very good. <laughs> Who very good is going to? Is he wait? Is he naked as well? Naked? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> he's super strong and super naked. Is that distracting? Kablam style. Mm-hmm. You guys remember Kablam? <laughs> <laughs> no one. Yeah. So. No one. Super no one. No, one. Super, no, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Action League. All no, right. Don't worry about it. S- strength. Strength check. Hard one. With, you got advantage because you got the vines there. So roll. That's again. another nat twenty. You <laughs> got it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Me. Damn, dude. Oh my goodness. I can't All right. S- this guy, you hear him walking back, go, out of the way, out of the way, pussies, out of the way, out of the way, you little fuckers. <laughs> Everyone hears this, and I just wink at Beverly. <laughs> he goes, I'm coming through, and you feel a loud bang, and then a bunch of other guys go like, oh my god, are you okay, man? Are you okay? And you don't, you don't hear him respond. <laughs> I flash hard one a 
two thumbs up, and like I double wink, which is just closing your eyes. Hard one. That is actually your turn. Sweet. I'm gonna. Can I throw my axe at the uh, winged kobold on the wall? You sure can. Sweet. Nice. Yeah. That is a that 18. 18. That hits. Hey, if you can't chilly touch a wiener, just just <laughs> fucking throw an axe. Okay, at it. and that is a. So it's not gonna be a D12 to hit because it's a throwing axe. Oh right, it's a D6. Yeah. D6 is it a normal dice. It just looks like dice. a regular dice. It's the easiest one to find, man. <laughs> that, that's how big of a nerd like... I am now. I finally forgot what a regular <laughs> dice is. It's just Monopoly that's, dice. But that we'll is the fall. It. That's the fall from grace, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, you're back. just in Vegas. <laughs> you're in Vegas. You're, just like, you're in Vegas. Just you're a... playing craps, and you're like, do we use a D8 for this? <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to roll a seven, is but like, is that a, a D12 is this or what? Like long sword <laughs> damage, or what is this? <laughs> oh shit! That is a nine. Oh, you fucking. Kill this dude, just <gasps> dead eye. Just chuck it up after blocking oh, this door. That's Hard so one is so awesome. freaking God. alpha oh, right okay. now. <laughs> yeah, does dude. it just does stops it. this dude? It's whenever you hear I this meet dude somebody bang. else with, with big quads, that's just what it is. Moves back, still holding the door with his left hand. Right hand throws the throwing axe. Can it boomerang bang. fucking through his head and come back to me? No, boomeranging is insane. I'm so oh, sorry. I can't let it. It can, it can like hook. It starts to. You didn't get an at twenty. It, it starts to like hook around. And you just hear it clang. It, it clangs back. on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Where does he land? Where's the kobold land? Oh my goodness. Okay, so the front of his face slides off as the axe goes through oh, his God. eyes, and you see the back of his head goes into the like sleeping area and the rest of his body <gasps> plops forward. He just unceremoniously plops in the middle of the room. <laughs> Yo, Can I, I want to steal his Is it wings. cool if I catch the front of his face that fell off and toss Beverly a small tooth? <laughs> <laughs> the side, the, his little head fell in the other room. Not too bad. We'll okay. find it later. Uh, we'll find it later. Don't worry. <laughs> cool. That we'll is. get you that tooth belt you you've been trying that to make. That is you, Beverly. All right. Um, so you've got one winged kobold in the room with you guys, yep. and you've got one bullywug that's at full health. Okay, um, I want to try something. Of course you do. Yeah. <laughs> Is it an attack? He's got yes. that look in his attack. eye. Such a powerful paladin, and yet... <laughs> All right. he's, now, he's now that we're in a war, I, I would like to wear a sleeping bag and say that no, I'm no, his no, friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I want to go after the uh, the winged the winged kobold. Okay, but I would like for hard one to throw me at it. I thought oh. the winged kobold just got. There's killed. two. There's right? two winged kobolds. Oh. One, one came from the guard tower. I want right. to like get my one is sword in the room out. With us, right. One is in the room with you guys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He flew down. I want to get my sword out and try and do an aerial slash on this kobold. Okay. So I like that. Yeah. Great. Sweet. Get, so you're gonna ready in action. You gotta ready in action until hard one's turn. Ready! Okay. <laughs> so you just, you just pull your sword up, yeah. and this bullywug's just looking at you. Goes, the fuck are you doing, man? Focus I'm, up! I'm powering up. <laughs> uh, and he swings at you, <laughs> and he crits. <laughs> oh. It's funny when God shit happens that we deserve, damn. isn't it? <laughs> Eleven damage. Oh my God! <laughs> no. You could have built him cool. in one hand. <laughs> you have all your spell slots back. You could have used smite and shit. Uh, anyway, all right. Okay, that no, is the no, no, no. Beverly chose to go into a deep crouch. <laughs> <laughs> that is the a deep veiny crouch. Constant consequences. I've never seen a youngin with such a thick veins. That is the Cobalt's turn. You do see two of them get up to the top of the wall. Uh oh. And try to jump down onto hard one. And they crit. No, what? Dear me. They don't Dang, hit, they everyone's slinging 20s today. Are, everyone's, everyone's doing good rolls. Mom made dinner and the rolls are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no. First guy does 11 damage. <laughs> what? The other guy's gonna swing. What's 32 minus 11? And he, that's what, uh -huh. he misses big time. He, he rolled a three. So he, he, he lands and these guys are actually gonna take falling damage. They might fucking die. Cause they just jump <laughs> like 30 oh, feet awesome. down. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh my God! What, the the guy who crits you, crits you because he like just fully suicide dives at you, and then he splats on the ground like a fucking cartoon. I whisper to him, "That was honestly a pretty noble death." <laughs> I uh, kick a tooth towards Beverly. <laughs> Great, tooth flies over to Beverly. Uh, the Yoink. other guy takes two damage. Uh, he's super hurt though. He goes, he like breaks the leg and he goes like, whoa, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? I didn't need to be a hero. Guys, nobody else do that. Uh, these other four kobolds on the other side of the door are gonna try to ram it. So give me another strength check. Let's go one more nat 20. That is a, oh, uh, 15. 15, 
You hold it true. Hell yeah. 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 You Hard feel one it holds true. Bang. Damn right. You feel it them bang up against it, but you're able to hold it back. So the winged cobalt is gonna rush forward at Beverly as Beverly stands there with a the oh, spear. Oh come on! Uh, and he hits. How much does he hit me for? He hits you for four damage. All right, that's fine. Okay, that is Moonshine. <laughs> can I get on my belly and look under the door for a line of sight so I can cast Earth Tremors? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, so I uh, I do like a nice like downward dog slink into place on the floor. Okay, great. Uh, you can, t- you know what? Give me a perception check. Nine. Yeah, you can okay. see under. And then you can I... see the feet of several kobolds, and you can see the like big dude is like rubbing his head and getting up. <laughs> well, I'm hoping to knock him back down okay. with, and then I cast Earth Tremors. Great. They do dexterity saving throws Great. on a failed save. Each creature takes one d6 within that ten foot range. Takes one d6 bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. Okay. I'm if gonna... the ground in that area is loose earth or stone, it becomes difficult terrain. Okay, roll a d6, and we'll say that's the damage for all of them. Don't and do... I'll, I'll let you yeah. know if they if they get hit or not. Six. Yo. Six, bitch. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see who passes their dexterity saving throw. So first guy passes. He gets out of the way as the as the earth starts to shake. Second guy <laughs> fails. You see, he falls and cracks his head, <laughs> million dollar baby style. Uh, and he's dead. He's gone. Ooh, Third guy go. saves. He he jumps up. Other guy fails. He falls down and cracks his head. And then the big bro guy. I just want to knock him back down. He's actually, I'll say he was getting up, so I'll roll a disadvantage. He passed on the first one, and he rolled a one on the second one, so he'll take six damage. So he falls back down as he's getting back up. Oh, what the fuck? It's fucking cheap. <laughs> Hard and then I and then I look back. Is there is there a bullywog still alive? Oh yes. no, yeah, it's the one that hit there's, me. There's the one. But that he still got. I look at that cobalt that landed on uh, that landed on Hard One, and I uh, spores him. Nice spores. Three Great. spores. Okay, cool. Then. He's dead. He's gone. <laughs> he goes down. Oh shit! That there's was still, what a waste if you're uh, if you're ready being ready to be thrown in the air. No, no, no there's still a winged cobalt. There's still a winged cobalt. Oh, I see. Okay. Great. That is. No, I would my... never. I would never step on that. I'm s- okay. That move. I'm still so... doing a cool thing. <laughs> I'm uh, still gonna be cool. I might co- die, but I'm gonna die with honor. Uh, <laughs> bro, cobalt's turn. He gets up. He tries to ram the door again. Uh, strength check, hard one. Come at me, dude. That time it was a 10. <laughs> okay, he, he only rolled a five, so. Woo! Woo! We're both losing steam, but he yeah. lost more than me. <laughs> yeah, just you hear him on the other side. I'm gonna wear you the fuck out, bro. I'm gonna wear you the I fuck out. I love this nemesis for yeah. hard one. <laughs> you gotta you caution to get, you gotta caution against the hubris, bro. <laughs> No, man, I'm going to get you. You see, fucking, I wish, like, if things were different, we would work out together, I feel. I respect you, but I hate you. I fucking hate you, man. Oh, he's losing it. This is just toxic. <laughs> this is toxic masculinity is what this is, man. Just fucking let me in, You man. can't even grow I'm a beard, dude. I'm the strong one. Yeah, keeps, keeps shoving it back in his face. Okay. Um, that is going to be that is you, hard one. So you can now throw Beverly if you would like. Sweet, I'm gonna th- yeah, I'm, I'm gonna toss the kid. <laughs> you toss the kid. <laughs> Bev, yes! roll, roll with advantage on an attack roll on this uh, winged cobalt. Uh, nineteen. Let's see if I can do better. Woo. Okay, uh, nineteen plus you, five. You super hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I have my sword out, right? Yes. Uh, n- nine. Nine damage. He's yeah. dead. Winged Cobalt goes down. Yes. Bye bye. Finish him. All right. Um, you come so, down from the air. Okay. What happens? I'm up in the air. Um, is he just floating in the air, or is he like on a rafter? He he was down on the ground. He was okay. like waiting for you guys. Dude, skewer him like a kebab. All right. So yeah, I think like <laughs> if if he was on the ground, then Hard One throws me, and I get I just like yeah, just kebab him. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> right before <laughs> right before he dies, he goes. Mm. Killed by an airborne enemy. How ironic. <laughs> no, I like that. Um, yeah, and I do take one of his teeth. You stab him through the head and rip out his tooth. <laughs> he had a gold cool. tooth. It was cool. So you guys are in an empty room. Mm-hmm. Moonshine is still looking under the door. Yeah. yeah. You can see two kobolds still kind of working, and you see the bro kobold is still just like panting up against the door. <laughs> and you also, go ahead and give me a perception check. Can be in that one. 
Nat one. Okay. What you, do I see? You see, there are some ants under there. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of bugs get in here. Because Y'all, we got an infestation. <laughs> there's we no, got there's company. no roof, so you know, bugs just get in. I gather my you picnic some back into my you pack. You see some skeeters under there. Because I Papa ain't sharing. Eat, Papa eats a skeeter, and you see he starts going. <laughs> <laughs> it like bit him Papa. on the tongue as he was going. This ain't not lunch time. He starts scratching. It's he scratches time. at his tongue with his little claws. Quit, you dirty beast. <laughs> oh, wait, there's still a bullywug in the room. Okay, you, oh, oh yeah. sorry. You guys still have one bullywug in the room with you guys. Uh-huh. And also a bunch of ants. And he's, and he's almost dead, right? <laughs> he has actually not been hit. Beverly has just been oh. ignoring him. Cool. Right. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, wait, so, so whose turn is, is it? It is now that bullywug's turn. Mm-hmm. So he is going to now rush over to Bev. Like and he fun. crits. I have Excuse fucking. Excuse me. I can't. It's it's insane. Damn. Why can't you I'm be so rolling sorry. for us? <laughs> okay. How much does he crit for? I, I I rolled bad on damage, so he only does six damage. Okay, great. Um, Bev, what are you at? I'm at uh, eleven. Okay. So Damn. this bully. I'm also wug, pretty fucked up. Great. On the ten. Yeah. This bully wug slashes you. Then that is back up to you, Moonshine. Things are getting pretty serious here. Uh huh. I gotta look up a spell real quick. <laughs> I really don't want to have to like retreat to the green teens and sleep again. I don't want to have to do that. Yeah, there's only th- there's only four people left in this castle that we know. Oh, of. we're we definitely gonna have to retreat and sleep. It's a ghost castle. I'm going to. Oh, this is a bonus action. Okay, so first I'm gonna take my shillelagh, go after Bullywog. Go for it. And I say, join your brothers, you family-oriented pieces of shit. <laughs> and you I mean for like a eight. jamboree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the final jamboree, <laughs> and then I hit him for 18. In hell, 18, 18 that hits. Yeah, <laughs> jamboree in hell. <laughs> and then I hit him for uh, 10. 10. It's fun. The, the he bl- is on death's door. And then I spores him. Oh, he's dead. Finish <laughs> nice. Um. And- Please have mercy. Uh, and then I just hawk a loogie of spores in my hand and slap his face. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Join your brothers and in the then, dark jamboree. And as a bonus action, I would like to cast my second level healing spirit. Whoa. Right. Which is just going to be in the corner of the room. And anytime any of us goes there um, and enters that space or starts a turn, we get 1d6 hit points back. Wow. Um, There's just a healing spirit? Yeah. Nice. Okay. A healing what is it? spirit for, it's for a minute. So Great. it's like for battle. What's the spirit's name? It's an effigy of Papa. It's like a giant Papa. <laughs> it's wait, a giant, a giant Papa. Ghastly no. Papa. Is it the Papa Sweet from my Noble dream? Papa. <laughs> yes, Jack it's Papa. a big <laughs> ba- Papa that says, "Come to me if you need healing, Beverly." <laughs> and he's got Beverly like he's dreaming. What's he talking about? He's got about, like Beverly? some. Uh, he's got like some like uh, pregnant-looking nipples that you can Just go. Just buff nipple to Papa. <laughs> I suck from my teeth to be healed. <laughs> Nurse from my udders, Beverly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Come, suck at my udders. <laughs> and then I'm going to also run into the space and get a D6. Cool. Yeah. Suck at my teats, mother. <laughs> Dude, Thank okay. you, Papa. <laughs> Moonshine, you see Moonshine just fillet a <laughs> giant buff possum's teat. And she, and looks, say, she looks better for it. Y'all, the yeah. milk is warm. Hard one is like, it's warm. I, I might rather die, but thank you. Uh, I rush, I guess, wait, it's not my turn, but I I try to play it cool, but I am going to start sidling towards Mega, cool. Mega Pop-Pop. Ah. It is actually the Kobold's turn, Uh huh. but you hear on the other side of the door, you hear the guy go, hey, hey, bro, can we, can we talk? Can we oh, talk? shit. No, no. <laughs> I want to, we can talk to this dude. You, yeah, hear, you hear whispers on combat. the other side. You guys got to get some more healing, but okay, yeah, play him, play him. All right, man. What? Okay. What's? How much can do be, you squat? Can I be okay? <laughs> do you want me to be honest with you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm only like two feet tall, and I only weigh like 80 pounds. So I do like 110 pounds, which is like a lot more than my body weight. That's awesome, so like, man. you should respect that. Cool. Thanks. Cool. I do, cool. I do, Means I do. a lot that you do. All right. What else? Okay. So check it out here. We're a pretty craven bunch. Uh, I don't super want to fight anymore. Okay. So. We knew you guys were coming back, and you guys fucked up the Bullywugs, you fucked up us, so we said, hey, Bullywug King, you can come live here, you could be our king, because you killed our, our other guys, so the Bullywug King is fucking here, man, so if you guys just want to, like, he is hiding up in the tower, so I'm oh, willing to sell okay. him out if you guys just let us open up the door and run off into the swamp. Tell you what, 
We're going to let you live, but you've got to kill those other two kobolds with you. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a oh. persuasion yeah. check. Moonshine does a, a quiet, breathy, yeah. <laughs> Let's just see what my persuasion oh my thing is. Hard Twelve. ones? 12? Okay, let me, let me see what he rolls. Beverly is like watching Hard One's muscles kind of flex involuntarily. He rolled a three, <laughs> so he is so easily convinced. He just goes like, all right, man, but you better get me the fuck out of this. <laughs> and he goes like, hey, uh, hey, uh, Bill, Bill and Phil, guys. Uh, <laughs> so Wait, turn uh, up. Bill and Phil. Yeah. Bill and Phil, guys. All the Cobalt's names right. Guys, guys, Bill and Phil, you guys just turn around. Uh, if we can climb up the wall, they said, well, let us out. I'm so fucking sorry. And you just hear, oh, 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 oh. sorry, Bill, I'm sorry, Bill. And you hear Phil being like, dude, you just fucking <laughs> killed Bill. And he just stabs, he stabs Phil too. And then, uh, and then you hear silence. He goes, all right, man, we cool? Hard one opens the door. <laughs> all right, hey, man, thanks. We're fucking dab this dude up. <laughs> they do like the predator <laughs> high fives Son where they bitch. like clench hands. They're so muscular. Oh my God. I had to get down on one knee to give it to yeah. him. <laughs> just this little mini beefcake. I'm proud of you, little dude. Oh, thanks, man. This kid's a regular Derlin. Y'all, yeah. before we <laughs> completely exit combat, can y'all just come get some healing milk? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I run over. Since we have mind, it for a minute. What's it, up with this healing milk? You're not touching it. I can't Sorry. get in on it. You yeah, sure? I, aren't you lactose intolerant? Oh wait, no, we should let him do it because if he's gonna help us kill this bullywog king, maybe we. Can I'm down. Him. I actually. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing: you guys killed my whole family, and I killed some of my family. <laughs> so can I do a I'm lost out here, man. Can Bill, I do a perception were check? Brothers? They were just my friends, dude. <laughs> do you, you want to do insight? Yeah, yeah I want to do an insight check yeah, to find can. out if I. If, if we, we trust, trust him. This guy. I am nine. Uh, he just seems freaked out. Okay. I, uh, I'm over at the teat, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, just wondering if I could ask. <laughs> yes, Beverly, suck from the teat of Pelor. <laughs> oh. like, I feel bad. I made, him, I made him kill his two friends. I'm just a, a, a tiny little taste. Yeah, just a, a little. Taste. Okay, okay. maybe they can get a couple, because we have it for a minute. Maybe they can Well, he like, has six nipples, so maybe two. we all just hop yeah. on one, right? <laughs> Yeah, I think that'll bring us closer together. On one. It'll let's be all go. Building. Let's all go have like a, a nice little orgy with Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. I'll let the DM so say So real how... Papa also drinks from <laughs> Phantom Papa's milk. You guys all Papa, drink. Papa, quit being greedy. You're drinking too much. And then I'm gonna. And then once uh, at the at some point, I'm gonna slap the Cobalt's face away so okay. that he doesn't get as much as the rest <laughs> okay. of us. Okay, he's really ravenously going at his. There's a lot of protein. Yeah, he's got sharp teeth. So he's gotta be bro. careful. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, stop. <laughs> this is like a power. This what is, like is a this little milk? dragon rat doing at my nip? Get him off. I Get slap him. him. I slap him. Do you have the cookies and cream? Get. Sorry, yeah. Get it, little lizard man. Mine tasted like mint, dude. <laughs> Mine was raspberry. Wow. Yeah. So what's like whatever name? we imagine. Hey, That's... what's your name, bud? My name's Josh. <laughs> hey, Josh, I'm, I'm Beverly. <laughs> nice to meet you. Phil, Lil, Bill, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know what? I feel like. You're my new family, and I say that because you killed my family, and I don't have a family now. That's fair. That's equivalent. Sweet sure, man. Josh. Why don't you prove your worth before you start making declarations? Take us to the king. Take us to the king, and uh, you lead the way. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Um, you guys suddenly hear... We're still stealthing. You're still stealthing. Yeah. Do we... What, what, what health restoration do we get? What well, is it a D6? So it's the, a D6, but and can we get, like, D6? a little more? Yeah, because you guys did it out of combat, yeah. so you got oh, a nice. couple rounds of it. So... Yeah. How long does it last? It lasts for a minute. Oh, dope. Okay, so that's like 10 rounds. So you, you guys are sucking oh, at this teat so for we're like just a full minute. Health. If you guys suck at this teat for a full minute, <laughs> no breath. And we yeah, just dude. stay here yeah. I'm, making I'm teat sucking this sounds teat. for a full minute. <laughs> uh-huh. You guys can have full health back. <laughs> uh, we got, no, we're, we have full stealth. We are stealthily oh, slurping the teeth. Stop teats. nibbling. <laughs> Do not nibble. Mother. It's crunchy. Mother, this hurts. It's crunchy. Mother, Someone's you're... doing it sensually. Stop, okay. <laughs> you over there. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> the cobalt is just flicking his tongue on it. Okay. You guys, you guys suck this milk for full health. You guys do, you <laughs> suddenly hear, you suddenly hear like a splash, like somebody jumped out of the tower out back. Uh-oh. Um, oh, he might have. T- he's he's turning tail and running. Oh no, is that the king? That's the freaking king. Uh, he had a guy well, with him too. If you us. want family, you better go get him, huh? 
Let's all go. Let's you better go. earn you your go? milk. You yeah. gotta earn your milk. All right, guys, let's pound it up, pound milk. it up. He, he holds a fist Freaking up for you guys. Out. I dap. Tiny dap. Little dap. Okay, Josh I leads give him you guys. A thumbs up. <laughs> Josh leads you guys up. through the door. So you guys run through the sleeping area. Josh leads the way. You guys go up into the tower and go up the spiral staircase. You get up to the top. This tower doesn't have a roof. It's open air. Oh, nice. You look around and you see dragon bones. Lighting, lining the wall, and like a small pile of treasure. It looks like the old adventurers like maybe weren't able to carry everything when they killed the dragon, so there's still treasure there. I... You also see a crick bullywug <gasps> tied, no, tied to the oh dragon, my dragon bones, Laura. and he just goes. Oh hey y'all! If I knew it, if I knew people were coming, I I would have made lunch. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm, I've been I've been kidnapped. Well, I'm a victim look here. Look at you! How you stray so far from the creek? <laughs> what? Are you from the creek? I am from how'd the creek. How'd you get? How'd you get all the way sure out of here from the creek? The jambalaya is a steaming. Oh, there is jambalaya. Could you do me a favor and untie? You know what? It is so nice yeah, to finally meet I, some people with some hospitality around here. We're gonna I'd untie say it. That too. I wish I had. Oh, some, did you uh, see the king? He just jumped out. The he jumped off the tower into did. the water. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, guy. he's just swimming out there. Look at him. He's just swimming yeah, away. You're going to have to be, good, oh, be quiet. Right? You want me to just be quiet? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see Josh turns you guys, do you guys know this guy? I throw, <laughs> jo- I throw Josh down. <laughs> down. <laughs> like to try and hit the, to try and hit. You do this? The bully walk is so far away. The bully walk is like swimming like oh, no. far. Oh, uh, <laughs> Josh, let me actually uh, roll to see. Uh, <laughs> so you hear him just yell, fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> and then silence. Moonshine. And then you just see, you see a little dragon body just float up to what the surface. What the fuck? <laughs> Moonshine! I thought I was going to hit the king! You killed Josh! <laughs> you killed Josh! Oh, you yeah. killed Josh there! <laughs> You oh. like Josh, too? Oh, I don't know. Josh, actually, he kicked me when I came in. All right, he, he, deserved right. Yeah, he deserved to die. He was a bad guy. I did, not hey. mean to, I did not mean to kill him. I was trying to get that King Bullywog. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's cool. Should we hey, go after the, the king? Hey, does the King Bullywog have the dragon egg? Yeah, there's not the, the dragon egg's not in this room right now, right? Oh, I didn't know there was a dragon egg. You are so unhelpful. You know who probably is? <laughs> you you're so uh, goddamn polite. You don't have any <laughs> hospitality. Let me talk to you. He turns over to Moonshine. Oh, Hi, yeah? How are you? I, I, you oh, know it's what? So good to it's say. actually been a pretty nice day. I, I, did, did you see the sunset? Do you want to wrestle? Yes, Crickle I would love to. Love no to time for wrestling. Could you someone out? just made off with the dragon's egg. Someone, oh, <laughs> did, oh did, the Bullywugs didn't have a dragon's egg. They did they not. Might. No, no, no. So oh, it's still in well, I was with, Okay, so here's what happened. So the Bullywugs turned out they're kind of bullies. The yeah. bully wugs, the right? Crick bully wugs, though. We got hospitality, you know. We'll <laughs> yeah. wrestle. We'll kind of run around, have a little yeah. fun. But sometimes we just like to have some fun in down at the crick. You see, he's a, he's a lot shorter than a normal bully wug. He's about knee high. And you know, we teeth? only we only come up about knee high. His teeth are fucked up. Oh no! <laughs> you know, Definitely. we don't yeah. like these bully wugs. Anyway, so some ain't right at the crick. So me and me and a few of my friends came out here in the swamp. Me and my daddy and stuff. But a troll kicked my dad. <laughs> yeah, my dad, my dad died. Dad? He, he kicked my dad. You know, so some some ain't right. Did he kick him dead? He kicked him dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. Laura. Me and some of the me oh, and some geez. of the other crick bully wugs was. Waiting around for the troll to fall asleep mm. so we could get him, so we can get him back for kicking my dad. But then the troll woke up and he just kicked some of my friends. And, you know, well, some, some so of them. All your friends are dead right now. A lot of my friends are dead. A lot of them are dead. You know, some of them are still out there. But, uh, uh, pop, pop, you know, pop, I did. I got captured. Okay, hush up now. Uh, okay. Hit, hush up, Crick Bully <laughs> you, okay. You're going a mile a minute. You got it. All and right. I understand it. Life is exciting. We're mm. having a good time. But uh, sometimes. I'm just so happy to see <laughs> yeah. some nice folks around here. So, Pop, Pop, first off. Go what chew that. that. Go chew that. Uh, Crick Bullywug free. <laughs> you see that? You see, Papa almost out of force of habit goes to start wrestling him. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "Oh, this is fun. I like this little guy. He's nice. He's nice. He is nice. You two wrestle a bit. Oh, we wrestle. <laughs> Did this guy ride Papa? <laughs> he chews him out. No, he's not. He's bigger than Papa. He's like two feet tall. He's about knee high. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. Papa's not knee high. I think Beverly resents not being the cutest member of the group anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's this little orange Bullywug that's like two feet tall. He's got big rosy. 
meet you. Oh, hey, how you sweet. doing? My, how, how you doing, y'all? My name's Jonah. Hey, Jonah. Nice I'm, to meet uh, you. Yeah, I'm hardwood surfer. Nice to meet you. Okay. Just keep your mouth closed. You're just so, like so. So I was, uh, you know, I was out here with my, my family. I went out to get some bugs. We go, you know, we like to eat flies and such. Yeah, so we, we get I'm, it. I'm going it out. I'm going out to get myself a snack. Day after, my daddy gets kicked to death, right? Yeah, and right, several right. of my other friends get kicked troll. to death. You know, something ain't right at the creek, but something ain't right. Seems like something ain't right everywhere yeah. these days, yeah, is what I would say. Right so these bully wugs, yeah. they go. Uh, well, I'm gonna make you. Uh, I'm gonna make you uh, go out and do work for us. You're gonna catch us flies and stuff. And I say flies. You you want me to catch a fly with my tongue and then put a fly in your mouth? Mm-hmm. That is disgusting. Right. So they, you know, they started tying uh, me up. They started bad. tying Can me we skip up to and the dragon's egg. Yeah, what's the uh-huh. thing? Yeah. I don't, do anything. I don't know li- what you're talking about God, about a dragon's okay. egg. I can okay, tell you. Jonah. I can tell you what I know. Okay, okay so yeah, I was getting, it, I was getting yeah. dragged around by these bully boys. They yep. got no hospitality. I know. Let me tell you that. Oh, so I they dragging me around, right? So y'all must have. Y'all were the ones that killed a bunch of them the other day, right? Correct. Yes, guilty as charged. Oh, that's. I nice see you because I did not like them. They had mm-hmm. no hospitality. So they were actually planning on going to that old. They were talking about the bay. They were going to steal the staff from the bay, right? What? The bullywogs wanted to steal the, the staff. Bully oh. from the bullywogs wanted to get some weapons, so they wanted to go to Moonstone so that they can, you know, take the trident. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so they could take that little trident there. Laura. So they were going to be... take that, but then, uh, th- so the kobolds, you know, they had lots of weapons and stuff because they used to have the dragon here. Dragon would give them stuff and such. Is what I hear, you know, mm-hmm. just kind of gossip around the swamp and been out. Here oh, I love days chatting. Before my daddy got kicked by a troll. Well, we I just wanted the record to show that Beverly does not like Jonah. <laughs> 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 okay. Of so the winged kobold shows up, and he says that he, the the bullywug king, could be the new king of the kobolds, and that they had a special sword for him. Oh, and so did he run away he with that came, sword then? Bullywug picked up that sword, and that sword did not have good hospitality. I'll tell you what. Oh, it had some of that bad. Oh, some of that, that bad, bad juju. Mm, some of that, that bad, bad juju. You saying it's a cursed sword? I would say so. Okay. Oh. Yeah, kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that's going on in the crick. Yeah. There's some bad juju down at the creek. Um, well, we can talk about that later. Crick? We'll talk about that later. So, I'll tell you something, something ain't right. I was out there, my uncle cousin. Which one? <laughs> my uncle cousin. Oh, I know Swan him. Heart. Yeah. <laughs> I know him, Jebediah. <laughs> Jebediah the creek bully wug, right? He drank some creek water. He turned into a frog. Hemoth, just a big old frog monster. I had to kick him to death. No way. Yeah, you kick him that's death? Not I had to kick him to death. That's not well, hospitable, you know, but he ate my cousin nephew. So, <laughs> so that, you know, that is so interesting to hear because Crick Water, as everyone knows, it's highly caffeinated and a yeah. little bit alcoholic, but I never mm. heard of it turning anyone into hemoth. So they just mentioned to us that there was the sore. They didn't say anything about the egg. Okay, so we'll do well. We'll look for the. But egg you guys are, here. you know what? Why don't we help ourselves with this treasure here? Because there is a lot of treasure. Oh bully yeah! Bullywug did grab some of the gold and jumped into the water with it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So the bully who he ran off. The bullywug king ran off with uh, with the sword. With the sword. With the sword. And a cobalt or well, anybody grabbed, else. He grabbed a nice shield out of here. There was kind of a cool oh, looking shield. It was shiny. It was that nice. That sound cool. Uh, he also I'm had a start. cool cloak. I'm going to start picking up some treasure. I'm going to start picking, picking up some treasure. Can we, yeah, can we look around the room? You look through the treasure. You guys I'm spend some time around. taking all the treasure. You guys get 120 gold, Ooh. 390 Ooh. silver, 453 copper. Oh, I'm shit. It's Hard one you find in there. Two masterwork throwing axes, like two really well-made throwing axes. Those good are thing, plus one. Good thing that boomerang shit didn't come back to me. You guys I find... I got a axe now. You guys find these... Green, really lightweight boots. These are boots of elven kind. They give you Ooh. advantage on stealth rolls. Y'all, I think these might be my size. <laughs> you also find a beautiful oak fiddle that says oh my Old God. Betsy written on it. <laughs> Old Betsy? Old Betsy. Old Betsy. Just Old Betsy. I, uh, I it's I I play the strings and they're very out of tune and I say mm, that sounds nice with my violin appreciation merit patch. <laughs> that I just can, means you like violin. Yeah, no, I can tell that this is a good violin. <laughs> okay, you see Jonah starts slapping <laughs> his knee. Are we having a jamboree now? I put my hand on his on his arm. Jonah, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but the jamboree, says the jamboree is, is canceled. <laughs> the jamboree is currently canceled. Which jamboree really? are you talking about? Because I'm just talking about any jamboree. I, I love it. Because when you're with your friends, it's always a jamboree. So as Jonah's doing this, yeah. 
Beverly, you kind of, as you guys are collecting the gold and stuff, something catches your eye. You Ooh. pick up what you think is a gold piece, but it is an amulet <gasps> of Pelor. It has a sunburst. I, I know the sigil. With a, it has a gold chain, and then it's a big platinum, you know, circular. It looks like a locket almost. Mm -hmm. And on the front is a sunburst. And you pick it up, and as soon as you pick it up, you recognize it as being Theala's guys. necklace. Guys! <gasps> oh, this necklace. Whoa, scared the shit out of me. Sorry. <laughs> From the Sorry. poster on your wall. This is Theala's necklace. It's, it's a holy relic. And you I... see, as you say that, it cracks. What I can fix mean? this. <laughs> That's where we'll end our session. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, man. That was a fun one, guys. All right. That's uh, great. The Allah's Necklace. The Allah's Necklace, guys. Does the old Betsy Fiddle do anything? Uh, fiddles. It's a fiddle. It fiddles real good. You'll have okay. to check it out next time. Okay, okay guys. Uh, check out our subreddit, R Not Another DND Podcast. We're in there. Yeah, yeah. guys. Um, at the end of the episode, we always do shout outs in character. So rate the show, give us five stars, and request which character you want to shout out from, and we'll shout you out at the end of the show. It's yeah. really fun. Easy Follow enough. us on Twitter at Jake Hurwitz, at Eaxford, at Call the at ch murph is me. Uh, buy our book. Emily and I have a relationship advice, satirical relationship advice book out called Hey You Up How to Turn Your Booty Call into Emergency Contact. It's a very on Amazon. different type of humor from this. <laughs> a little bit. There's no DD. Wouldn't it be fun to see different sides of There everyone? is a fantasy map in it, though. That's true. It is it's a beautifully illustrated. That's there true, are yeah. a few references to Lord of the Rings because how could we not? <laughs> yeah, dude. Aragorn and Arwen, is there a more pure <laughs> relationship? <laughs> no, uh, listen to If I Were You, watch Drawfee, youtube.com slash Drawfee, and check out 8 Pit Book Club with me, Emily. And called well. Yeah. Tweet about the show using hashtag NADPOD. <gasps> yeah. E O D, oh. baby. <laughs> we are, we are the nation. We, we are, are, we are, we are, we are. Hey guys, thanks for listening. We're going to do our shout outs now, starting with DM shout outs. M. Poletti, 1028, and 99 Knives, you requested shout outs from me, the Dungeon Master, aka the direct messenger himself. So here's a direct message to you. You guys rule. Hunter Hunt and You asked for a shout out from a bunch of people, so instead, they'll get a shout out from Scoutmaster Denny. Uh, a green teen is never needy. Asking for too many shout-outs is just plain greedy. Uh, two people asked for Bullywug shout-outs, and one suggested that it should be a Bullywug that was just about to retire, so here we go. Lady Applesauce, I'm gonna do one last shout-out, and then I'm quitting this job. Oh no! I've just been stabbed by Reggie Miles! I was supposed to open a dentist office! That's it for me, guys. Let's catch up with Hard One, Beverly, and Moonshine. The Mexican Edgar, the bastard of the border. Luke John Cox, the cock spider. Cocksure and sure Cox. Becky and KC, Becky with the good quads. Gabby Garcia, the townsfolk gab of your grace and courage. B-Mart 847, the dagger of the deep, my brother in arms. David A. from Maine, the Lobster Lord, champion of Strong Claw. Daddy Lair, the godless father. Deer Hunter, the Doe Headsman. A hearty thanks from this hearty dwarfin. An excerpt from the diary of Beverly Togold, Fifth Leaf Green Teen, and co-secretary of the Galateron High School Enchanted Chess Watching Club. Dear Diary, my Scoutmaster Hard One has a lot of cool nicknames, like Pride of the Dwarfinage and B-Word of the Mountain, and it got me thinking, if I had a nickname, what would it be? Here's a list of potential nicknames that I think would be just swell. Tough Fluff, Jeffrey Carbine, Dellen Mast, Zeno Loaf, ooh, I like that one, Keegan, Ryan Firth, ER888, Lambie Ramby, or Bizarinate. Wow, huh, that one sounds like some sort of automaton. Maybe I'll ask Hard One himself what he thinks, but I have a bad feeling he'll suggest something like Little Stain, which I've got mixed feelings about. Until next time, Beverly, insert nickname here, Togold the Fifth.
Hey y'all, Moonshine here. Just wanted to extend my wettest, warmest well wishes to Aaron T. Cleveland, EA Deporte, Stash Ninja, Olga Zastow, and JoJo Hats. The team of you is more fun than a bullywug in heat during a full moon. Oh, and Papa over here just hacked up a pile of half-digested crickets to form the words tearing it up 25, whatever that means. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs>